All right, let's check in with Steve now with a look at that forecast. And looking pretty good today as far as temperatures go. It's warmer than it has been in quite some time this time of day. Still sitting at 33 degrees at the Boise Airport. Up in the mountains, not bad at all. 27 right now in McCall, and that's partly because of the cloud cover that we have over the valley. That cloud cover will stay with us for the most part throughout the day, although we will see some sun breaks and an afternoon high of about 40 degrees in Boise, all the way up to 42 in Twin Falls, 40 in Baker City along the coast. Temperatures around 50 degrees this afternoon and that mild air will stay with us for the next 24 to 48 hours, but then a big change coming toward the end of the week. And there is enough moisture in those mountain locations that we do have the potential of some snow showers. No heavy accumulations for today, but as the moisture continues coming in from the northwest, we will see some snow accumulating in the mountains of Idaho. In fact, a half foot or so possible with this stream of moisture that's coming in. Eventually, this trough of low pressure is going to drop down into the northwest, and that will cool our temperatures pretty significantly toward the end of the week. And as this cold front comes in, that will bring the potential of snow even here in the valley with Friday's temperatures staying below freezing. If we get precipitation on Friday, which is a pretty good chance, we will see snow showers and could lead to a white Christmas for us. Here's a look at our future cast for now. We do have that possibility of snow showers increasing this afternoon. 30% for McCall this afternoon. Again, no heavy accumulations for today, but the big stream of moisture will start coming into the picture tomorrow. By tomorrow afternoon, snow accumulating in the west central mountains of Idaho, and that's a trend that will continue right into Wednesday. This is Wednesday morning early, and we see the possibility of some of those showers sagging as far south as the Treasure Valley. I don't think we'll see any snow on Wednesday here in Boise, but it is a good possibility for Friday as those temperatures drop and that real moisture comes into the picture. By Wednesday evening, though, we do expect close to five inches of snow up at Tamarack, four inches at Brundage, Cascade with a couple of inches, Stanley with some snow, and about two inches at Sun Valley. Again, that's by Wednesday evening, and then a chance of more snow for those mountain locations on Friday and here in the valley. Afternoon highs today, slightly above average for a change, expecting an afternoon high of 40 in Boise, 41 in Nampa, 41 for CUNA as well, and the same for uh, Mountain Home with an afternoon high of 41. We'll get a little bit breezy toward the end of the day. We do expect relatively cool temperatures in the mountains, but that's relatively speaking, they're actually a degree or two above average. That 30% chance of snow showing up by this afternoon could see some snow flurries in the east central mountains. No accumulation just yet, but that will change by the time we get to Wednesday and in the Magic Valley a bit of a breezy day but temperatures will be mild 42 for Twin Falls 43 the afternoon high in Burley with mostly cloudy skies. Here's our extended forecast. There you see 40 for today, 42 for the afternoon high in Boise on Tuesday. A little bit breezy. Those winds will pick up with the approaching storm system. A chance of a rain snow mix on Wednesday, sunshine on Thursday, but then snow possible on Friday. It's a 40% chance. Temperatures over the weekend will be much cooler. Only a high of 24 on Saturday and 21 on Sunday. 622 now the candy cane is a staple of the holiday season. After the break we'll get a behind the scenes look at how the Christmas treat is made. Right now a look at today's school lunch menus. She's some kind of wonderful. Yes, she is. 